In this tutorial, we will create a number of questions using many of the multimedia elements, graphics, animations, movies, and sounds that we collected or created in the previous tutorials. You can substitute any other multimedia elements that you would like. Start Categories and load the samplegame.cag file from the C sample game folder as we have done in previous tutorials. We will click on Load Game find the C drive, locate the sample game folder, and select the sample game.cag file. Now we will create a revised game, create questions, and select the questions by question option. Let's type in the name of the first category. Let's say we will call it sample questions. Let's create our first question by clicking on the 10 points button. One question option is to use a text question and to add a sound which is optional. Type the question text in the text box which is in the upper left corner of the screen. We will use the question how many days are there in one year. You can format the text by clicking between the words days and R and hitting the enter key. Click on save and return. Next, let's click on the 20 points button. Another question option is to have a picture or animation or movie, small text which is optional, and a sound which is optional. Click on the checkbox to select a picture question and click inside of the graphic file box. The file selector button should become enabled. There are a number of ways that you can enter a file name into the graphic file box. Remember that the saved categories.kcag file and all multimedia element files used to make questions must be in the game folder. One method is to click in the graphic file box, click the file selector button, and choose the file that you want to add. We will choose the CAT1Q20 Baboon JPG file and then open it. Another method is to just type the file name in the file box. We will type after we gray out the previous name, we will type poodle.jpg and then we will click on the Add button to see the, the graphic. You can also add file names by using the Windows Filelog dialog box or Windows Explorer. Double click on my computer Find the C drive sample game file. Choose an image. In this case, we will choose the CATQ20 Baboon. Click and drag with the left mouse button held down into the graphic file box. Then click on the Add button. So you can choose the method that is most convenient for you. Let's also add a sound for this question. Click in the sound file box, then click the file selector button and add the baboon to dot wav file. Then open the file. We can play the sound to see whether or not the sound has been selected. Again, save and return. Select the 30 points button. Add the CAT1 underscore metronome.gif file to the file box.
This is an animation from the Animation Factory website. We will add some text under the animation by clicking in the text box in the upper left hand corner. We will type, what is this musical device called? You can see that the text has shown up underneath of our animation. Again, save and return. Select the 40 ports points button. Let's add the CAT1 Q40. Remember Q40 st stood for the 40 point question. This is the question that was created using the multiple choice question maker in an earlier tutorial. Save and return. Next we will select the 50 points button and we will add the 50 point question. This is the question that was created using the freeform question maker in an earlier tutorial. Save and return. Next the 60 points question. Add the 60 point file. This is the question graphic that was created using the screen capture utility again in an earlier tutorial. We will add some text under the graphic. What is the name of this equation? Again, save and return. Select the 70 point question. Add the titration file. Here's our CAT titration 3 file. This is a movie made using a video camera during a high school chemistry lab. Again we will add some text under the movie. Why is the solution in the flask turning pink? Save and return. Let's test the questions. We'll click on the Create Questions menu, the Create Game main menu, and then on the Test Game button. Note that clicking on the button on the right will always lead you back to the main menu screen. We will click on each of the buttons, 10 points through 70 points, to see how the questions will look. You could also return to the main menu screen and play the game, but that would take several more mouse clicks. Well, this is the end of the tutorial on using the Categories Game Maker. Remember that there is more help available by clicking on the directions buttons in Categories or in the Utilities, the File Finder, the Multiple Choice Question Maker, the Freeform Question Maker, and the Screen Capture Utility. Enjoy creating games and playing category games with your classes.